Oh Lord, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, how y'all doing? Please excuse me. Anywho, let's see if I can't set these up a little bit. Yeah, I've shown you this before when I was doing all of the cheap shit and so on and so forth. But I have put out the rest of the, the cheap shit palettes that I have or whatever you want to call it. Some cheap, some not. Whatever. But that's my Floyd Roberts back there I talked about before. These containers I cannot open one-handed and they pretty much go with theatrical stuff because it's, I don't know what you want to call it, theatrical, Halloween, whatever. Um, Floyd Roberts, Fashion Fair, a couple of little things from the mom and pop shops whole slew of them here this one actually goes with my theatrical stuff because it's a madeline mono type of thing you've seen that before but these guys come from family dollar as well as that one they're for little girls but palettes are palettes i collect all kinds of stuff so that's that uh that one's mine that one's my daughter's the rest up here are mine this one it was the, one of the first ones. There are actually two liners that go in here, but this is one of the very first palettes that I ever received, and my mom was the one that gave it to me. For it was a Christmas present. I think I got it like when I was ten, something like that, nine, ten. Uh, these I also got from Family Dollar while I worked there. One I put in my kit, the other one I keep for myself. These I got from my beauty supply place I go to downtown. This was a different beauty supply back in the day. This one actually carried me through, and it opens up a little bit more too. It carried me through junior high pretty much. I'm struggling. Cooperate, please. Thank you. Anyway, yeah, it had a really nice red blush in it. I took and broke it up, put it down in a bottle. Was cleaning out my makeup one night left my stuff out my daughter woke up she had to have been one something probably one she decided she was gonna go in the room instead of staying her little butt in the bed and she just took and dumped out all the powders that i'd made all over the floor yeah that was a really good day for me anyway found these these cream shadows at big lots and they have their own little mixing tray this set up here came from a, one of those uh, makeup clubs that I was telling you guys about before. So that was one thing that they sent. This was another thing that they sent. This guy here actually came from Family Dollar about two Christmases ago. I only paid like five bucks for that. And at the same time, that same year, I wound up getting the one of the Sephora palettes that I talked about. The first one was the 2007 Blockbuster. Yeah, I got those in the same year. These little guys here came from Walgreens and so did this. I only paid like a dollar and some change for this. And then these little guys were here. And there you go, our famous cheap shit red again. Uh, these guys here are not the most pigmented things on the planet. So I just took them. These are the ones that came out of the other palette I showed you with the lipsticks and stuff. And I just put them in these, put them in this tin. I keep all of the other tins as well. The ones that they send you for AOL that people just kind of toss away. Well, I don't toss too much, so I decided to just take them, take the shadows out, and I had something to actually put them in. Sometimes I use them as palettes for foundation or powder or when I'm mixing something up or whatever. This little guy I found. This is one of the. I think this is like either the first, first or the second first lip palette that I made. And I also found out too, Sam Fine does the same thing. He's a makeup artist. He worked on Tyra and Iman and all those other famous people and so on and so forth. And he was on a recent episode of America's Next Top Model. I think it was last week. Something like that. Whatever. But this is your regular medicine case or whatever. I had some low lipsticks. Cut them off. Throw them down in there. Woo woo. Put the labels on the back so I can remember what the hell I have. Stuff like that. This actually came from Trade Secret. Got one of those little cards, and that's this was the first thing that I got. Of course, you can see I always take the little Barbie brushes out. Can't stand those things. I have a set of brushes that I carry in my makeup bag and my purse. 
and I was so thankful I had to make a bag in my purse that day that I went to Chanel because that was an emergency anyway these are these are the lids actually to the Pringles cans but they make really good palettes in a pinch when you want to just take something off and kind of smear it on so these are different lip glosses and things that kind of like overrun from me doing a swatch or whatever so I just kind of scraped them off with my spatula and stuck them in there and same thing with this and they are inside these other little AOL things that they like to send you that have the little magnetic closure around the top or whatever so cover them up make them look pretty so on and so forth and there's your <clears throat> Martha Stewart craft idea for the day so like I said these are the lovely little palettes and stuff that cost next to nothing you know but they do the job when you need them to so on and so forth that is it on these and I will see you guys next time thank you for watching bye